the African Liberation Day, which is an annual celebration of the founding of the Organization of the African Unity, OAU, now AU, that was formed on the 25th of May 1963. This day is celebrated in various African countries as well as around the world. In this regard, the Africa Rising Liberation, a Pan-Africanist movement based in Sierra Leone, has organized a one-day symposium in order to commemorate the day with the team Africa for African at the CCSL Hall in Freetown. The Executive Director, CCYA, Abigail Stevens, given the background of the day, said the African Liberation Day, which is formerly known as African Freedom Day and African Liberation Day, is an annual commemoration of the foundation of the Organization of African Unity, which was formed on the 25th of May 1963. And she went further to state that the organization was transformed into the African Union on the 9th of July 2000 in Durban, South Africa, but the holiday continued to be celebrated on the 25th of May each year. She went further to state that the celebration of the day is important in the life of Sierra Leonean youth and also Sierra Leone as a whole because it's time for Sierra Leoneans to know that Africa belongs to them and we are part of the African continent and it is also important to know the history and the background of our four founding fathers in the continent. I especially really set up for them, all Africans then across the continent, whether you're in the diaspora or wherever you find yourself, for making people able to mobilize. So basically, we in Sierra Leone, we self done the insider cause day because Sierra Leone is Africa. A day in Africa, we're all Africans. In as much as we are Sierra Leoneans, overall we are Africans and we're proud for being an African. So basically, um, for we in Ayaso, we get um, a movement we belong to, even though we get several other movements, they all the work with Pan African movements then. But one of them um, are the Africans rising, where um, ESF they look at justice, uh, peace, and dignity. Where one of the calls where Africans rising. The look at now the commemoration of the Africans Liberation Day. Where since the establishment in 2017, where Africans rising form or set up, where they mobilize Africans them across the 55 or 54 African states there, we don't the updates, we don't the move, we don't the show solidarity for amplify the voices of Africans. Emilia Kamarajengo, Executive Director of Furut Sierra Leone, speak on women's empowerment as Africans and building people's movement towards the Africa we want. Elaborating on the topic, she stated that women should be given the opportunity they can be able to exploit and do things. And African women are strong and capable of transforming the continent. When we talk of women's empowerment, we want from now and down to be as Africans. We must say many African countries then continue to demonstrate so much effort for talk about women's empowerment. Recently, we some countries then, almost all the countries then, don't adopt what we call the elimination of all forms of discrimination against women. When I'm sit down, we don't um, ratify that day. And some countries then also, half of the, the region, I will say, don't also ratify the African protocol on the rights of women in Africa. That protocol they are, some of them they talk say, we are able to recognize and protect human rights and legal rights of women there. Then article they are also, they speak on equality especially when it comes to some of the issues that we will neglect. We get to do with marriage, we get to do with access to justice, we get to do with participation, promotion, and especially prevention also of women in armed conflicts. Let me not forget, say, when there is war, 
women and children that the most vulnerable and are there they suffer more. Elijah Gogra, the executive director of Culture Radio Sierra Leone, also made a statement on a reflection of the team Africa for Africans. He elaborated extensively on the need for Africans to know their background and also to be the true Africans they used to be. He also called on all Africans to be patriotic to their continent and also not to forget about their culture, beliefs and tradition. Don't really believe in Western culture. You understand? The Western culture has been imposed on us. So it's like we have no choice. We only accept it at this scene. You understand? It's not like really this is our choice of having that. Mm -hmm. But what, uh, to answer your question, my advice to them, it's not only them, it's for our generation in general, every generation in our society. We must, 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 decolonize. We have to decolonize and free us our minds from the shackles of the mental chains and shackles we still find ourselves in. And that's the problem because our mind, we are still cut off or we are still in mental bondage. And I think uh, decolonization means educating ourselves and our people the right kind of education, giving the people the right type of education. And the education we know or we have is a mixed education, like I said earlier. It's an education that will always keep us subjective, subjective to the powers that are over us. Statements were made by other various speakers who graced the occasions. For Star TV News, George Elliott Sam reporting.